Hello, my name is Justin Goncalves, and I am here to present to you my capstone project called eTickets. Now in a little bit, I will be showing you all of the functionality of my application, but first a little bit about myself. As I said, my name is Justin Goncalves. I was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Growing up, I loved acting, I loved creating short films, and I loved playing the guitar. So I've always been an artistic person, but I've always been looking for a career that showcased my creativity. Now, before Dev Code Camp, I had quite a few jobs in the past. I was a landscaper. I was a personal trainer for three years. Uh, I was a realtor for one year. And for the past five years, I have been a building engineer, which I was content with and uh, happy with until the pandemic shutdown of 2020 happened. Now, since then, I noticed that things have changed. Uh, I've seen how critical technology has been in every aspect of our daily lives. It seems like every business had to become a tech business. Shopping, all stores had to become online stores. Food, all restaurants had to become accessible by an app. Work, all workplaces had to become remote workplaces, except for essential workers like building engineers. Now with this rise of tech and remote learning came the rise of exposure on how to break into tech. This is how I learned about coding boot camps and after some research found Dev Code Camp. Now to talk about my capstone, I wanted to let you know that my app came from my past experiences as a building engineer. Being a building engineer showed me how much of an issue communication and record keeping was in my industry. Now, I plan on resolving these issues with my building maintenance app called eTickets. The languages and technologies I used for my application. On the back end, I had Python, Django, Django REST framework. On the front end, I had JavaScript, React.js, HTML, CSS. On the database side, I had MySQL Workbench, uh, and I also used Postman and GitHub. Now onto my application, as you can see, here is the main page for e-tickets. And you can see that there's three main buttons for each portal, a resident portal, a maintenance portal, and a property manager portal. Now, as we click onto the resident portal, you can see that we have a form here. So as the resident, I can create a work order for my apartment. And let's say my apartment is unit 101. The subject, uh, let's say plumbing. And in the comment, I discuss what is the issue. I will say clogged toilet with teddy bear. Could it have been a child who clogged my toilet with a teddy bear. Uh, permission to enter here. We're going to say, I want to be called before entry. And here as the resident, I get to choose my priority. I say that that priority is very high. And from here, I submit the ticket. I get an alert telling me that my request has been filled out and uh, I should be getting an email with any updates. So here we go back and we will go into the maintenance portal. Now here you can see there are plenty of tickets filled out. And at the bottom, we can see the ticket that I have just created called about my clogged toilet with a teddy bear in it. Now I press the fill out ticket. And as the maintenance worker, I will say that I have fixed the issue. As the worker, I'm going to say my name as the worker, incidentally, is also Justin. And for the resident email, I will be using my email just to 
showcase and let you know. Uh, the date completed, we'll say is today's date, May 21st, 2022. And the comment, I will let them know that uh, what I did to complete the work order on clogged toilet found teddy bear. And here I will let them know whether I completed it or left it on hold as in I wasn't able to complete it, but in this case, I completed it. Now, once I press the submit button, it will email the tenant, the resident, and let them know that the work order was complete. Email sent. So we will go to my email. And here you could see work order status, email. Once I click on it, it says, hello, resident. Your work order status has been complete by Justin. C means completed, H means on hold. Comments, on clung toilet, found the teddy bear. Best regards, maintenance team. And we go back to the maintenance homepage. And you can see that the ticket is no longer there. It's been complete. Where did it go? To the property manager portal we go and we can see that ticket that's been complete is in the property management portal and that is my application and my capstone e-tickets my name is justin and calvis and i will be just looking forward to working in a long fruitful career in the tech business. Thank you very much.